welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey what's up thank you for joining and if you're not welcome back i asked you guys on my instagram what you wanted me to film if you don't follow me there you should because i'm on there all the time and you need to follow me so that you can keep up to date with my youtube videos um, I asked on there what I should film, and this is the one that you guys chose. So today's video is going to be all about macros, why I like counting macros, why it works for me, why it might work for you, or why it might not work for you. Basically just information about macros, what they are, and how I use macros to reach my fitness goals. Alright, so what are macros? So macros are basically just, which you've probably already heard this, a lot of people track their macros now, it's all over Instagram, everywhere. But if you haven't, macros are just your carbs, fats, and protein. So it's just counting your calories in a way that kind of helps you understand food better um, and know like exactly what you're putting into your body. So your carbs, fat, and protein are like the main sources that we get our energy from. Um, so fats, they help you sustain your energy. Carbs, they give you energy. <laughs> when you have too many carbs, that's when it gets stored as a fat. So that's why maybe sometimes, well, that's why a lot of times people are like, oh, like I'm like really watching my carbs or some people go low carb or, you know, it's been in the movies, they're like, oh, I can't have that, there's, there's carbs. Um, because when you have too many carbs, it's stored as fat. Um, but carbs are good. Carbs are great. They give you a pump in the gym and <laughs> they give you energy without carbs. I'd be like, I don't know. I just wouldn't be moving. I need carbs. But anyway, um, and then protein builds muscle. I am not a professional. I am not certified in any way. I didn't go to school for this. I don't, I don't know. This is just what I know, what I've learned from my own research, from myself, and from my coach. Um, so why do I choose to count macros? I choose to count macros because it's just, it's what works for me. It's what works best for me. I love being able to see on a screen or you know on paper, if you're counting it on paper, but I love to see that I'm hitting my numbers. Like I, I, I like to know that what I'm supposed to be getting, what I'm intending to be eating to further my like fitness goals is what I'm actually consuming because otherwise I don't really know what I'm eating like some people intuitively eat some people like intuitively intuitive eating is when you're just eating without tracking you're not tracking what you're eating but you're kind of like you're mindful of it so maybe like you'll stop eating when you're like this percent like when you feel like satisfied you know you don't eat until you're super full but you eat until you're just satisfied and you you kind of like you're mindful of what you're putting in your body so that is intuitive eating that works for some people and that's great like literally whatever works for you whatever keeps you mentally healthy is what you should do um i know for me like when i did my first bikini when i first started with a bikini coach like two years ago i developed the most unhealthy relationship with food like ever like it was so bad because he had me on like a meal plan where it was like I literally could only eat like chicken and just like boring stuff chicken veggies it was like it was restrictive it was very restrictive and it, it just it really messed up my relationship with food so when I switched over to a different bikini coach um, and she did you know macros where you can kind of like fit whatever you want into it um, that was like amazing that was amazing and i went through the entire prep without a single ounce of like feeling weird mentally or getting just having that poor relationship with food like no binge eating like what i used to do is i would i because i was so restricted i would just go out and i would just binge eat moving on um, so yeah, so I choose to count macros. I honestly thoroughly love it. You know, it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. Um, I use my fitness pal. That's the app, the app that I use to track my macros is my fitness pal. Um, I don't go by the macros that my fitness pal like gives me because you can, you go into my fitness pal and you can like, you type in like your age, your weight, your height, and like how much you want to lose or gain or maintain, whatever. Um, and then it'll give you macros. So I actually um, found out what my own macros were myself. Um, so it's kind of a lot of math and I suck at math, 
but it's actually I think it's really interesting myself to do even though I hate math but I just followed Christian Guzman's video um, I'll link it down below he has a really good video where he explains macros and how to like um, and how to determine what your own macros are okay hey guys sorry my camera stopped recording I like checking macros because it helps me keep a healthy relationship with my food and it really does help me it, it really has helped me learn like what I'm putting in my body and what does what like what will carbs do to my body what does protein do to my body what do a lot of carbs do to my body what does a little bit of carbs do to my body I honestly don't know how people just eat things without knowing what it is like and I obviously used to do that and that's how everybody eats you just eat your so I'm just gonna show you um I'm just gonna go in and show you what I do like how to do it on my fitness bill um so I haven't tracked today I don't believe no okay so today's empty um don't take don't look at my calories and decide that you want to go take them for yourself because everybody's everything is so different okay like do not do not compare your macros with somebody else some people post their macros online most people don't because of that reason they don't want people to copy them literally eating 1200 calories back to the topic so this is my my fitness pal um so what you do when you here let me go ahead and should i log out i'm scared i'm not gonna be able to get back in I want to log out to show you like how it works so okay, so once you're in the app um, I don't really pay attention to this home page it's just like re random recipes and stuff so I go to diary and then this is all of your days so you can kind of put how many meals you want I just have breakfast meal two three four five and then post workout and that's kind of how I organize them you don't even have to organize them but um, anyway, so you just kind of you just go to add food and then it keeps track of everything that you've already eaten So that's really really cool. You can just put it in so easily like people think it like takes a lot of time to track their food um, At first maybe like the first week. Yeah, it kind of is a pain every time you're about to eat You have to stop and like put it in and find it and search for it and scan the barcode Whatever, but once you have all your foods in there like I kind of eat the same thing every day ish like i kind of eat the same thing pretty much i have like my staple foods that i stick to so it's really easy um but yeah so you just you just go in and you put in your foods and you just i don't know you just put them in like today i have a ugh, i have a protein shake right here that i'm drinking i haven't haven't finished it yet but um, so I'll just go ahead and put that in even though it's in breakfast, but anyway You just put in your food and it tracks it for you and then you go to more and you can go to so this is how I like change my goals Okay, so you go into more You can go into goals and it tells you put your starting weight your current weight your goal weight How much you want to lose or gain or maintain whatever one? Um, and then you can go into where it says nutrition goals and that's where you can customize your macros because it'll give you a default set of macros based on what you put up here oops um i don't want to do that so you just so yeah it gives you a, a set of macros from what you put up here but i always go in and change mine um so you go in here you put in how many calories you want and then it gives you like this little um little thing and you can like adjust it so that it says 100% so if you want more fat and less protein you do that um, you just kind of do it however you want mine's 35 30 35 um, right now I'm going to lower it I'm gonna lessen it and lessen it as the weeks go by um, but that is pretty much how it works it's really easy it's really simple um, I think people get I don't know people make things kind of make things more complicated than they are and they get kind of I guess overwhelmed with all of the people talking about all the different ways to lose weight and all the different things that you should do or shouldn't do and then they're like oh well tracking like that's a lot of work to track all your food but it's really not it's really not it, it does first week or two you have to get used to it it's just something that you have to get used to but if you have goals and if you want to reach them and if this is a way that you want to see and try, really try out then you'll do it for those two weeks you know like so that's that um i don't know 
I can't really show you. I don't really know how else to show you, but yeah. Um, oops. That is, um, that's that. And also, you can put in <coughs> your progress. Mine's just a straight line. <laughs> but I don't have an... I used to have, this is a different fitness pal account, it's not the old one when I was on bikini prep and stuff because it used to have like my my uh, actual results, but this is, does not. Um, but you can put pictures in, I don't have any pictures on this one, but you can put a, you can take a progress photo and put how much you weigh and the date and then it'll show up and it'll give you a little graph, it'll show you like on the little graph, I think it's cool. Anyway, so that's, that's my fitness pal. So that's my fitness pal. I don't really know what else to say about that, but um, I just thought I'd kind of show you guys what it looks like in case you don't know um, and kind of how it works. So you can go on there and you can do it yourself and you can reach your goals and you can be great little people. And my camera's about to stop recording again. I literally had to switch my iPhone. I've tried two different memory cards. The one doesn't work. The one doesn't have memory left. I deleted everything off the memory card. If you're going to track macros, just really, or you're going to try any type of diet or anything like that, um, just really be mindful. Just really be mindful of your mental health. Make sure that you are keeping that in the back of your mind every time, every day, like literally every single day, like keep tabs on that. Make sure that, that it's not making you unhappy. That's not making you bingey. That it's not making you get into unhealthy patterns of views of food like oh this is bad this is good i can't have that I, da, da, da. like if you feel deprived if you feel any type of way like <laughs> just just make sure that you're keeping tabs on that because your mental health is number one priority and fitness should make you feel good it should make you feel good it should make you feel happy it shouldn't make you feel bad so if it's making you feel bad try something else try something new try a different workout try a different way of eating try something different because it should make you feel good. It should not make you feel sad or bad or depressed or anything. I guess that's all. Like if you guys have any questions, you can go ahead and leave them below or go ahead and follow my Instagram. I'll put it right here and it'll be linked below too. Um, you can go ahead and message me on there with any questions that you have. I love interacting with you guys. I love talking to you guys. So if you have any questions at all, go ahead and ask them on there. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget today is a great day to be happy and I will see you guys in my next one.